بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين إن شاء الله our lecture today is going to be about the subject the creation of the clay of, of the Ahl al-Bayt from the rest of the clay of Ahl al-Bayt we have a narration we have an important narration from Ahl al-Bayt سلام الله عليهم that said all our Shia and followers they were created from the rest of our clay Allah Azza wa Jal created them from the clay and then the rest of this clay our Shia uh, were created from it and and uh, this this narration is very important for knowing the significance of the creation I'm not going to talk today about just how great is this creation I'm going to argue about this concept I'm going I'm going to say that I'm today let's say I'm not the follower of Ahlul Bayt and I'm gonna start questioning is this statement true is this statement can can really mean a reality for us or just something that Shia is saying because they, they always exaggerate about their love of Ahlul Bayt all this information inshallah today is, is going to let you know what is the concept of matter how Allah Azza wa Jal created the matter and what is important in the, this creation and we are going to know more about the levels of the prophethood why Allah Azza wa Jal created the prophets and which is better the prophets or the imams not from the from our mind from the holy Quran all this inshallah today is going to be mainly our subject to talk and argue now let's ask about the divine justice of Allah Azza wa Jal. If you ever heard someone, let's say you're from different school of thought of Ahlul Bayt, you heard someone that's talking about his creationism, it was made from the rest of the clay of Ahlul Bayt. Then immediately you can say that if Allah Azza wa Jal created you from the rest of the clay of Ahlul Bayt, then why he brought you to earth and then why you are under this this uh, in this judgment why why there is judgment why there's uh, ju uh, there is something going on in life why all these trials why why he got you all these problems and uh, for you to be raised hi up higher now we have to go into deeper meaning the first meaning is a mean is a meaning that tackle our feelings the first meaning when you say I'm very happy that Allah Azza wa Jal created me from their clay if you are the follower of Ahl al-Bayt if not you will say this is doesn't make any sense but let's talk deeper from the very beginning of time even if you open the Bible the Old Testament or the New Testament you see in the first page in an Arabic they call it Sifr al the, the the first page in a, in a Bible you see that inside the, the main creation how Allah Azza wa Jal created he said the very beginning Allah Azza wa Jal he created the light and from the light everything came in to be and then inside this light there is something else came in if you see the first light the second light there is a second light that came in and then from all this all the creation were created Allah Azza wa Jal we found it almost the same concept in the Holy Quran and then this this concept is inside Surah Yasin. Allah Azza wa Jal, He spoke about the creation, about the five levels of creation inside Surah Yasin. But He was not directly saying this creation is so and so. He is trying to refer, as we know, the Holy Quran always to always go in the mind of the person in a way to in a way that feed his experience. The more expert you become, for example, in engineering the Quran. The Holy Quran will pre will present this, the, the proof that Allah Azza wa Jal, he is, he is the one who wrote the Quran or, who, or he created the Quran. Same thing, if you're a doctor, you will start searching the statement or you start discovering the statement on the Quran that will show you how to be better in your own life or your body or to treat all the uh, sickness and so on. So the Holy Quran is always feeding every person for the, for the young people, for the older people, and even for the expert or for the scientist. And Allah and Imam Salam Alaihim, they spoke about this in the Holy Quran. They said that the Quran has four meanings, four regular meanings, like 
you can open the books of tafsir and and you can read different tafsir for every verse and then they they said in a different hadith that there's a four outside meaning and seven inside meaning and each one will refer that he will show you this person in what level he is he is from the awliya he is from the he is from the scientist he is from the researchers or so on inside the real concept of the holy quran and going back to the main subject that Allah Azza wa Jal created this from the from the Noor, we found in, in a normal science that there's something called sacred geometry. And we, I spoke many times about sacred geometry and the importance of this science in showing what is the reality of Hadith al-Kisa. Hadith al-Kisa is when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa, alayhi wa sallam, he was sitting, he went to the house of Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra, sallamullah alayha, and inside the house, he spoke with Sayyidah Fatima. You can read Hadith al-Kisa more, more deeper. And, and, he went, uh, and after that, uh, Imam Hassan came in, Imam Hussein, and then Imam Ali, and then Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra. The sequence of how they came in, they came into the house of Sayyidah Fatima is very important. It was not random sequence. It was a real sequence that it will show us the reality of Sayyidah Zahra later. And I, I, I think I already spoke about this previously why it is important and how this is revealed the secret of Sayyidah Zahra Salamullah Alayhi and in the sacred geometry we find, we find that there is a circle in the middle that connect all circles together and really they did nobody gave a real meaning for what is it what does it mean exactly except there is six circles and the, this, this, the one is connecting all the circles it is made from all circles nobody know why this is exist inside which is this is the meaning of the secret of Sayyidah Zahra Salamullah Alayha and how she was created. Previously, I spoke about the creation of Sayyidah Zahra. Inshallah, I'm, I'm going to talk about those subjects because I'm always in Arabic. I speak more deep, um, I, sp I give more lectures. In English, I usually take this chance to sh show many information in one lecture. So this way, we won't miss all this import important information. But for sure, I will go back to the main subject because this is the subject itself. So the, the creation of Sayyidah Zahra, as we know that Sayyidah Zahra is from the Hur al Ain, and she is from the Ins, us, like us. He was created between Hur al Ain and Ins. And in the Holy Quran, there's many scientists always debate about the Hur al Ain, the, the virgins, uh, you know, they call them in, in the Holy Quran. And those people, they kill other people because they want to go to see those virgins. But in reality, if we really go deeper, and I showed many uh, proofs from the Holy Quran, especially from Surah Al-Rahman, that, that those Hur uh, Al-Ain are our deeds. This is the deeds. What, whatever we make now, Allah Azza wa Jal, after life, He will show us that whatever we made, Allah Azza wa Jal, He created him or her as, a, as in a shape. Like for example, we have many narrations that say that when you die, your salat will take a shape. When you go to Ankar wa Nakir, immediately after you die, they put you in a grave and then you will see two angels, Ankar wa Nakir. And then the, 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 those two angels will, will start questioning you. And sometimes you will find a hard, to, hard to answer because you're so scared. You are in different dimension now. You are alone. And Allah Azza wa Jal will start sending you the, those deeds that you made. One of those ones is the, your Salat. How good you make your Salat, it will appear next to you in a grave and it will start defending you. Even your fasting, what, how good you present your fasting, it will start defeating you. All Whatever deeds you made in life, Allah Azza wa Jal will create, um, He will make a creation from those deeds. Same thing, all your deeds in Hayat al-Dunya. Even Allah Azza wa Jal, He mentioned that the best of deeds is Salatul Layl, is that when you pray at night, when you pray in the middle of the night, you wake up, you everybody's sleeping, you are you really love Allah Azza wa Jal, you're claiming your love to Allah, you're thinking about Allah Azza wa Jal, so you start doing Salatul Layl. When you start doing Salatul Layl, Allah Azza wa Jal, He will give you the best of deeds in hereafter. And one of these deeds that He will create you a uh, a creation that nobody ever seen before is so beautiful this creature and he will be your companion companion on in the jannah and in the jannah after alam al-raja 
and inshallah alam raja when we're gonna come back the comeback to earth it is it has a meaning inshallah i will make specific uh, lecture about that i will give you all the proofs from the holy quran and the imams that all allah azza wa jal he spoke when he spoke about the paradise in the holy quran he didn't speak about the the last ending paradise in heaven he's speaking about the paradise that he's gonna he's going to create in after we all die and then he will create a different earth inshallah this is this is different subject it will be a surprise for many people uh, but this this exists and we really need to open those subjects before inshallah the zuhur of imam mahdi sallallahu alayhi and then he will come when he come inshallah he will make sure to give us all the real information and the real knowledge so from the from the from the sacred geometry we know that allah azza wa jal is going to make a creation and this creation is your deeds say the zahra is the creation allah azza wa jal created at the end of time from the deeds of imam ali sallallahu alayhi that's why she was the hur al ain of imam ali she is the only person the only creature that she will able she will be able to marry imam ali sallallahu alayhi and because allah azza wa jal he did he doesn't want him to bring uh, his sons Hassan and Hussein to life the, the sons of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam the people that continue the main the sacred geometry so he got Sayyid al-Zahra from the end of time from the Jannah and then he put her in real life that's why in the narration of Isra and Maraj the descendant when Allah azza wa jal was ascended uh, uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam to, to heavens uh, Jubrail, and I'm telling you now a story, a narration from Ahl al-Bayt Jubrail, Gabriel, he gave him a, a fruit, which is, I think, an apple. And then he told him, O oh, Rasulullah, please eat this apple. This is a present from, Ras from Allah to you. And he said, I want to keep this present. He kissed it and he hugged it. And then Gabriel, he told him, no, eat it. Allah Azza wa Jal wants you to eat. This is the narration he said. When he ate it, uh, a light came in from heavens and then he entered Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam later this light was known to be a Sayyid al-Zahra so no, nobody ever carried a Sayyid al-Zahra inside inside their womb like the nur of Rasulullah from Adam alayhi salam to Rasulullah to the point of Rasulullah a Sayyid al-Zahra she was the only creature that Allah azza wa jal he gave directly her, her nur to Rasulullah so she was able to uh, to get Hassan and Hussein the the rest uh, of the circles of the main sacred geometry so this creation all Allah Azza wa Jal made it from Noor so Allah Azza wa Jal made the creation of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from Noor from light from the ray of Allah and he mentioned he showed us in in many surahs in the Holy Quran that saying when we say about what is the light of Allah Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned his light in the Holy Quran and then uh, 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 Imam al-Rida sallallahu alayhi wa he was asked how Allah is nur is he like real nur like the sun or something he said no he's not in this form Allah Azza wa Jal he doesn't have a form he's not a photon he's not a nur that you're able to see but Allah Azza wa Jal he is in a form of al-Hadi the guidant he will guide you to his nur and his nur Allah Azza wa Jal he created Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Ahlul Bayt so all this creation was made mainly from the word of Allah Azza wa Jal at the beginning of time when the first creation was Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he was known under the name of Ahmad and Ahmad was mentioned in the Bible and later he was the name was altered but we, if we go to the old Bible you will really see his name Ahmad as he as he, he is the last successor of the prophethood mainly he was the main prophet that all the prophets were created from him i will give you proof from the mathematics and this is will really give a, a tackle inside the head usually when you, you when you write uh, mathematics when you start writing mathematics you start writing the formula at the beginning and then you write all the numbers and then you start putting all the formulas to reach the at the end of the end of the conclusion and the conclusion mainly will be your target and you will be rewarded to know that this is the real conclusion Allah Azza wa Jal created the mathematics in this form he showed you first that there is a lot of numbers there's a lot of concept you need to start uh, knowing first you need to have a knowledge you need to put all the numbers down 
and then you start applying formulas and those formulas are the formulas of Allah Azza wa Jal. Now we're talking about the real mathematics of Allah. Why we exist here? All the Prophet, they know, they knew why they're existing. Actually, there were those numbers inside this long formula that they were, they were competing with each other to take the content of Allah Azza wa Jal so they will have the nur of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam inside their bodies. And then, at the, and then you will see that even in the Prophet uh, Yusuf alayhi salam, Joseph, he, Allah Azza wa Jal, he was granting him this nur, but later he took this nur away from him and then he gave it to a different Prophet. And there's a reason behind that because even the Prophets, they have their own trials. They, don't do, they do not make mistakes that the same way we make it because they see the truth of things. But they will, they will do their test on a different level. And this level is a level of the prophethood, is the level of prophethood. We are able to really get some of this concept, but we are, we are unable to really see exactly how they work or how they function. But later, when we start reading the Holy Quran, we really started f f seeing what exactly the prophet are. Let's talk about Prophet Yusuf salam. And again, I will say that all these information are very important of why Allah Azza wa Jal created us from their clay and what is this clay exactly. So we know that we are talking on the same subject. What is exactly the, those prophets? Let's talk about Yusuf salam, Joseph. I made a lecture about Yusuf salam, but I will say directly like uh, to save time so we can all remember what exactly I spoke about. Joseph alayhi salam, when he was, when his story that he has brothers and then his brother put him in a place that he stayed there for three days and then uh, a people they were passing by they took him and then they got him to this lady she raised him with her husband and then later this lady she become his own test and then when he refused that he was put in prison let's go let's go deeper in this meaning Let's, let's see us, let's see Yusuf السلام, inside us. Yusuf actually is presenting the human being. Yusuf is the beauty, his beauty is the way he created him. He created Allah Azza wa Jal, he created us all, all of us same thing. And then when we were created, they were his brother, they were feeling jealous. Those brothers are the creatures, the other creatures that Allah Azza wa Jal created. Many, many creatures, they felt jealous, except the angels which is, was presented, Allah Azza wa Jal, He presented the angel by his brother. He was the only one that he didn't know that he will be put in this test. And then he, 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 he was put inside this place where all the water inside and he left, he was left it for three days. Allah Azza wa Jal, He put us for three semesters inside the womb of our mothers. He was showing us the concept. I mean, it's not going to be exactly the same thing. But he was showing us that it's symbolizing our life. Yusuf is symbolizing our life. Later, he went to this lady that she raised him. This lady that raised him is the lady that she offered herself for him. It is life. Life is our Zulaikha. You know, the, the, this lady was named, her name Zulaikha. The, the life itself is the mother that raised us. But she's not the real, our real mother. The, real, the mother that she will offer she is offering her body for us. Like for example, when Yusuf alayhi salam, he entered the, the house, the house she closed, he, she said, I closed the window, just not just the, the regular windows, and I closed the door. And then Allah Azza wa Jal, even he mentioned this in the Quran, nobody asked why she, she did only this level. She did not close up heavens. She did not, she did not close the window that were high, only the smaller one. He was able to go from this window but he, Allah Azza wa Jal, He's shown us those windows are the windows of the kingdom that He always open for you when He will show you the truth. He mentioned this in the Holy Quran. So now later we know that Yusuf alayhi salam is presenting us in, in, in Alam al Dunya. And this is one level. If we really refuse Zulaikha, the Dunya, he, we will pass this level of Yusuf alayhi salam. Yusuf, so over here he become a level for us to reach the real meaning of the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or Ahl al-Bayt sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let's talk about Yusuf alayhi, um, let's talk about, I'm sorry, we spoke about Yusuf already. Let's talk about uh, Nuh alayhi salam. Nuh alayhi salam, even in his name, he's representing 
the person that he will have the safe safe way for you to go to the other side and even his son he refused them even his son he refused them and Allah, Allah Azza wa Jal, he is presenting this son he is showing us that he is presenting the human being when he say Allah Azza wa Jal, when he created Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he will say oh Rasulullah please take care of my children children mean it doesn't mean the children that that you have to have a sexual relationship to bring him alive no the children in a meaning that ra'iyya ra'iyya that that the, the people that you are taking care of those people are my they're like my children take care of them and so on but some of these children they refused uh, noah they refused noah and real noah over here from the name of Noah alayhi salam is rasulullah and al hussein and al hasan and those people are from the sacred geometry again so passing the test of Noah is will make you go up closer to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Same thing from Jesus alayhi salam. He has the same test. When you believe that Amir al-Mu'minin sallallahu alayhi Allah azza wa jal, he created him from the bottom of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, from the inside of Rasulullah, you will really pass this test of how Allah azza wa jal created Isa alayhi salam because it's the same way he created Ali from Muhammad. Salawatullah alayhim. How? We have a narration that's saying Adam alayhi salam when, when Allah azza wa jal, he put him, put inside him the spirit. He, uh, the spirit immediately when he, w when he rose up, immediately he sneezed because if you see a kid now when he immediately go outside the mother, the womb of his mother, immediately he will sneeze. This sneezing, Allah azza wa jal, he, uh, this sneezing was made for mainly from the ruh. The little kid when he sneezed, he sneezed water. The same water that from inside the mother, from the inside of the the womb's mother. So Allah, because this spirit is very dear to Allah Azza wa Jal, the angel immediately came in and took this sneezing, this spirit, the piece of spirit of Adam, and they put it aside till Maryam alayhi salam came in, and then they took this spirit and then they were able to put this spirit inside the womb of the his mother Maryam. And then later, Allah Azza wa Jal, He mentioned this in the Holy Quran when He kept saying the creation of Adam is the creation, or same thing like the, crea the creation of Isa al Masih is the same way that Allah Azza wa Jal created Adam. He created a clay and then He said, Be and it will be. He mentioned this in the Holy Quran. So always there's a connection between Isa alayhi salam, Jesus, and Adam. And the real father, the, the, the spiritual father of, uh, of Isa alayhi salam, is Adam alayhi salam. So when we say Allah Azza wa Jalla created Ali alayhi salam from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, actually this is this is how it, it happened. He Ali is the inside of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So when you agree with this, you already passed the test of creating Isa alayhi salam, and you are going the level and the level of the prophethood. So let's let's even go to the level of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Who is he exactly? Why Allah Azza wa Jal said, if you love him, you will be like you created from his clay. When Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Holy Quran, he is talking about the level of Rasulullah. He is not talking about Rasulullah. Or he is not talking directly to Rasulullah except in a few verses. For example, in one of the verses he said, Oh Rasulullah, do not do this, uh, this to this poor man or so on. Do you think Rasulullah he did this? This is where the conflict will come. Some of the other school of thought, they will say, Oh, Rasulullah yeah, did this because Allah Azza wa Jal, He wouldn't tell him, don't do it if he didn't. But over here, we miss the concept of the level of Rasulullah. Where can we really achieve this level of Rasulullah? Uh, Rasulullah is Habibullah, mean the dearest creature of Allah, to Allah. And when we are created to this dear, dear, dear from the light of dearest, a creature, a cre creature to Allah Azza wa Jal, then we are connected with this one. We are going to the oneness again. It's like the, the light of photons. You see when the sun produces light, it will start producing its light. When there's all, all light around the sun, nobody will able to see the light floating in the space. We never saw a light floating in space. You can try this at home. You can bring a light and put it inside a, a, an empty place. And then turn on this light. This light needs to be like a projector. And then when it's directly connected, you need to put your hand to see this light is passing through. Otherwise, you won't see it. 
And we need to do this. We need to go back to the main source of light. This is where Allah Azza wa Jal wants us to be. This is the test of Alam al Dunya. So, what is the reality of these levels? Again, Allah Azza wa Jal created, created 124,000 prophets. Many prophets, they share some of the other prophets. They share the same life story almost, but there is a small detail inside. If you like, if you look at the concept of of the of realities and the probabilities, if you really go inside this deep theory of probabilities, you will see that Allah Azza wa Jalla created one hundred and twenty-four thousand probability for every moment we are we live in. For example, I'm li I'm standing here. There is hundred and twenty-four thousand probability for me every second to take. I can move my hand. I can move my hair. I can do. 124,000 probability that scientists were able to count. And from every probability, Allah Azza wa Jal, He made a road. And this road, He studied it for me. Is it good for me or bad? That's why He do the bala. When, when you have a bala, this is mean Allah Azza wa Jal wants you to rise up higher. He doesn't want you to think about Zulaikha of this, the, in the mean of the dunya. He wants you to think more about the hereafter. Because in reality of time, we live in a universe we live in alam al dunya regarding scientists came in and they studied how old the universe is and how old will stay L dunya all the dunya you will live in it 0 0.1601 second this is how fast we are passing inside the alam al dunya allah azza wa jal he doesn't want you to feel comfortable here so much because if you really do then you will start raising false hopes for sure he wants you to feel comfortable in a way of content of Allah Azza wa Jal. He wants you to really feel comfortable of knowing what is the reality of this alam al dunya and why you're living this test and why all, all these prophets exist. And are these prophets better than you? Or you are better, or they are giving you an example or they're setting you a level of example that you are able to pass yourself. For example, Musa alayhi salam, he said, one time he was talking with Allah Azza wa Jal, he told him, Oh Allah, can you show me someone that he will be my neighbor, my, my, my true neighbor in, in, in Jannah, in paradise? And Allah Azza wa Jal, yes, said, he said, I can show you your, your neighbor, go to this woman's house. And then he came in, uh, Rasul, uh, Nabi Musa alayhi salam, he went to the house of Nabi Musa, uh, of this, uh, this woman. And then he, he, he the, this woman opened the door. He asked her, do you, like, do you have something so special that Allah Azza wa Jal, He want to make you my own neighbor? She said, no, I just pray normal the way you were teaching us. I know Allah Azza wa Jal in a way that you are telling us. So he said, what do you do? Do you wake up at night and pray? She said, no. He said, do you like have a special connection with Allah Azza wa Jal? She said, just a regular connection like anybody else. But, but when he was talking to her, he saw her mother standing there and she was disabled mother. She said, do you do you service your mother? She said, I always do that. She always give her a shower. She, she take care of her and so on and so on. So now Musa alayhi salam knew that she, 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 Allah azza wa jal raised her to this point to be his own neighbor. And while he is the person who is speaking to Allah azza wa jal, he was able to speak directly through a, a messenger. But he was able to speak directly and Allah azza wa jal was answering him. And she is in the same level that, that, that Nabi Musa is, Prophet Moses. Uh, which is very amazing that this story is telling us that we are able to, to reach such such a status and those statuses Allah Azza wa Jal mainly he made them because the levels of the prophethood basically are reflecting us in alam al dunya so if you are, if you want to reach the level of habibullah not the real level of habibullah but the level of habibullah in a way of why Allah Azza wa Jal, he called Rasulullah Habibi, my own beloved. And he, he, he looked inside the Quran, you see, he said, Allah Azza wa Jal, We will see, we will see your ray, your nur inside the people who do the sujood, when they do the sujood. Some people, when they open the, uh, they want to see what the, the meaning of this ayah exactly, they said, they start, say, they start saying, oh, be, maybe because the nur of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was inside the sajideen, the, I mean the, the prophets. Uh, Allah Azza wa Jal, he looked through them to see his nur. 
This is one of the tafsirs. But other tafsirs that every person that performs sujood in a real way, that Allah, he want Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah Azza wa Jal will considering him at this moment as his beloved. And then he is entering the level of the, the, the Habibullah, the, the, the person who is very close to Allah Azza wa Jal, that he left everything for him to do the sujood. And, and I mentioned before, what does the sujood mean in the way of the tree of life? If you can go back and you see that the sujood from up to down will mean all the seven levels of the creationism from the spiritual world where we were created at the very beginning till the very end of Alam Al Qiyamah, I mean like the judge, judgment day. So we, uh, we were created to know all these levels. And when Amir al Mu'minin or when uh, Ahl al Bayt Salamullah alayhim says, uh, talked about, when they talked about the, the, that the creation of Shia or the people who are really close to Ahl al Bayt or close to Rasulullah are from the rest of their clay, meaning that their clay is not made from the real clay that we you found on earth. Their clay is made from Tasbihullah Azza wa Jal, from, from the Nurullah Azza wa Jal, Tasbihullah that. When you say Subhanallah, Walhamdulillah, Wa La Ilaha Illallah, Wa Allahu Akbar, you see when we mention this and aside our salat, our prayers, this tasbih, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave it to Jibreel, to Gabriel, and to Israel, and to Mikael, Ma Michael, and to Israfil. He gave them to those, to those angels when they were created immediately. When the, when Allah Azza wa Jal created the, the angels from the ray of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Immediately they saw this light at the beginning of that this light. Immediately they went to to, to Rasulullah. He was a light at the beginning. He wasn't taking the form of human being. He, and they asked him, they said, what do we do? The reason of our creation. Immediately he gave them names through his insight, through uh, Amir al-Mu'mineen, salamullah. He gave them name. If you see the name, for example, of what does it mean? Israel, Israel uh, or Gabriel. What does it mean if you... Break it down in the old language mean let's say Abdullah, the, the slave of God, the beloved of God. So all the angels have those names. And they were named mainly from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because he gave them all those names. Same thing us in Alam al Dunya, Allah Azza wa Jal He created us all those prophets. So we really need to look at all the prophets that Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned in the Holy Quran and all the prophets that he didn't mention. When we go to, to, to read a story about the Prophet, we need to see us inside, inside this Prophet. How did we pass this, his test? And what he's referring to us, what he's telling us, his life story. For example, Ibrahim alayhi salam, why, why he is the father of, of, uh, of the Anbiya? While he is, he is there and then we see that, we say that Rasulullah, he is the real father of Anbiya. Didn't Ibrahim alayhi salam, when Allah Azza wa Jal ordered him to go to, to build the Kaaba, didn't he say, oh, oh Ibrahim, ask people to come to, to do perform Hajj and then uh, to perform pilgrimage? And he said, who, who you want me to ask? Oh, there's nobody. He said, ask and I will make sure to deliver it to people over time. So Ibrahim alayhi salam, he start asking people to come to Hajj while there was nobody. He is, he, th this picture was mainly from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the way we were created. Allah azza wa jal, he created the unknown. And I mentioned this pre previously, and I show proof that there's places that called, uh, the, uh, the, the, it doesn't exist, the void. Allah azza wa jal, he created us from the void. And there's places now in the universe that they call the main void. You can Google that and you can see that there is void inside the main universe. And one of the, these places we were created from, so Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he came in and then he opened the void. And he said, oh people, oh creation, I ask you to come worship Allah Azza wa Jal through me. Because Allah Azza wa Jal want that. So we were, we were saying, labbaik Allahumma labbaik. Labbaik la sharika laka labbaik. We were saying this. That's why when we go to Hajj, we are remembering this. That's why we see the black stone. Why it is black. Because narration said that at the beginning it was white because of the deeds of the people was black later. Actually, this is reflecting the phase of the void in, in space. 
there is many areas now they call it the black void nobody know what is it exactly but it is reflected this is reflected by the black stone that inside the Kaaba so Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he is the first one who performed this one the, the talbiyah he was trying to get, bring us from the void to life and Ibrahim alayhi salam he got this status by doing things that get him closer to Allah azza wa jal while the Quran he showed us what he did inside why he connected Ibrahim alayhi salam to the fire Ibrahim is connected and now I'm telling a very important secret why he created connected Ibrahim to fire why he connected Isa to the dust to the desert why he created connected Musa to uh, water and why he connected different why he connected Sulaiman to the wind you see all those prophets are presenting something very important each one of them we are able to do if we passed the test that uh, they passed by so those people are presenting the picture of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa sallam on earth and when we open those secrets we will be able Allah azza wa jal will make us from their nur from their creation let's go deeper now in the meaning of the, the atom how this is really become let's say for example a person immediately he want to become spiritual and then he will start making awrad you know some of them they will say say i want to get closer to allah so they will go do the first prayer second one they will go deeper prayers and then they will start doing salat al-layl and so on they expect themselves immediately they're gonna be like angels you know flying in air and so on no this is, doesn't happen allah azza wa jal he will put you through a lot of a lot of tests and the main reason of worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal is not flowing in air or going from place to place dimensionally or so on. The main reason that you want to know about worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal is worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal because you love, he deserves to be worshipped. This is the only thing you need to put in front of your eyes. So what's happened in this level? What's happening exactly in this level? If you look inside the atom, Let's say we bring this atom and then we make it as big as a football field. This is how big it is. We go inside, we see that the distance between the, between the, the core, the, where is the proton and neutron, is from the middle of the football field at the very end. And the proton is going around this football field. And all the space is empty. It's, it's, and, and the proton and neutron will be as big as a mosquito inside this if you make it as big as a football field. See how, how the atom is so empty inside. Why this all this emptiness? This emptiness because when you start going into the spiritual world, all this emptiness will start holding energy inside of it. And then Allah Azza wa will test you. The more He tests you, the more you will start building this energy. The more you start changing your body inside. Allah Azza wa Jal, through the, through the narration of Ahlul Bayt, He will say, every 40 days we will have a face. I'm not talking about the, oh, this physical face. No, sometimes you look at someone, you will tell them, you know, something weird, look, look inside your face today. What is it? Did you change something? He will say, no, nothing changed. But if you can see him, he's going in a wrong way, you can see him, he's going in a other way. You will start seeing this nur inside his face. And I'm talking about reality. I'm not talking about fake things that... Uh, some people feel or so on. No, this is reality. Sometimes you see someone immediately you love him. Nobody in physics uh, or someone who holds the biology or the or the f many phenomenon uh, seekers that uh, they say this is may uh, affect the way of the hormone, they, they mean the smell of the body or the way it look like. No, this is res reflect the spirituality. What is the other person's spirituality and how he is conquering your own energy. How is giving you the energy that make you relax? You see, all this will be inside you, inside those atoms, and then those atoms will become a way that they're doing tasbih to Allah Azza wa Jal in a better way that you are doing it with them. When you are doing it with them, then you're giving them the real kick, the real energy that it will become that where where a person that he wrote to the other person he said, "Can you give me something that will always make me feel?" Uh, make me feel I, I always feel hungry I need something that will always make me feel full here so he wrote in a, in a piece of paper something so this person he, uh, this is a real story this person he opened this happened this real story happened in Iraq like uh, 50 or 60 years ago this person he never ate after that he opened this paper he looked at it and then he closed it he feel full till one day he died and then immediately his people 
uh, he went to his pocket to see what is this paper, what kind of secret secret has. It was only written Bismillah Rahman Rahim by the name of God, but he was written by someone who know what is the meaning of Bismillah Rahman Rahim. He was able his photo his his atoms was writing in a full force of what does the meaning of Bismillah Rahman Rahim. He trained himself so hard to reach the level of the prophethoods. He was able to see, he was able to pass all these stats that the Prophet are giving us through their stories. Are we going to be connected with them or not? When you are, then your atoms will change. Everything around you will change. So you'll be able to be the, the change in this universe. You will be able to be from the nur of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When he said, Rasulullah, when he, he was the last messenger, he said, the people said, who's going to come after you? Who's going to deliver the message? He said, each one of you will deliver the message. Please deliver. You will be my own messengers to people. How are we going to be? By, by working hard toward Allah Azza wa Jal. By knowing who is Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. By knowing who are, who are the prophets. We don't watch this, the prophet stories just to be impressed about those people. Actually, those people are representing us Many people, they, they feel so good when they watch Joseph, the Yusuf alayhi salam, how, how was made, was so good made, it's an Iranian show, and, and they, they were so attached to the person who, who, show, uh, who made this, this, uh, this movie, and so on. But in reality, they're watching themselves. Each one of us, he is watching himself. He is watching his own Zulaikha, his own person, that, his own uh, wife that we're going to be married to. Are we going to love money so much? Are we going to love power so much? Are we going to love women so much? Same thing for the women towards men. All these subjects are is it's tackling us. So when you look at the Prophet, look at them from this point of view. It's good to be impressed by the way Allah Azza wa presented them, but he is talking about you. That's why he mentioned them in the Holy Quran. So, inshallah, in the near future, I will be, be talking more about the levels of the prophets since I didn't spoke about it in English. Inshallah, I'll show you more proof from the Quran and I'll talk about the Ummah, the nation of Islam that Ibrahim السلام, mentioned in the Holy Quran. And who is the Ummah, the real Ummah of Islam? And how, what is the level of Al Maqam al Muhammadi. What is this level? The level of Ahmad, level of Muhammad. Are we able to be there? Allah Azza wa Jal, when we really reach this point, are we able to be like when Allah Azza wa Jal said that you will be my own example on earth? You will say be and then it will be? Can we really reach this point or not? Inshallah, in the near, near future, we'll be talking more about the level of the Prophet and about the, how the creation of the clay is. Now we, we understand that the clay meaning the tasbih, the nur, that doesn't mean the physical clay. So let's make our body tasbih and nur. Let's fill all these atoms inside the nur of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then you are, from the, you are created from the rest of their clay. Now you are created. When you were, Allah Azza wa Jal created all the people on earth, they were create, created from the clay of Adam. They were, they were pure. And then we start bringing all the bad deed inside the body, our body, the bad energy. Then we, t we, we shift from their clay. Then we, when we go back to Allah Azza wa Jal, we will shift back to their own clay, back. We will go to their own clay. This is the meaning, the deep meaning of this hadith. And this is where the divine justice of Allah Azza wa Jal, He is, you are always allowed, allowed to go to their clay. It doesn't mean the physical clay from your own mother and father. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته